what's going on everybody welcome back to another video today we are just going to be vlogging a bit and i'm going to show you guys the surprise that they all got me usually i wouldn't even do this but i'm honestly so excited about it i'm going to share it with you guys and i just thought it was he's just super sweet so hold on mm, he got me a brand new car yes instead of this my push gift uh, you know, fellas, your lady just had a baby. Make sure you get her something because she risked her life to bring your seed into the world. So, he got me a car. It's super cute. I love it. It's so me. It has enough room for the kids and all that other stuff. You know, here's the tricky part. I don't have my license yet. I'm 23 years old and I do not have my license. That's so embarrassing. Don't don't talk about me. But anyways, when I was a little younger, I got into a car accident and it really traumatized me to the point where I'm scared to drive. Even though I know how to drive, I'm scared to drive. So I didn't I wasn't really too eager to get my license. Um it definitely put a uh it definitely made me kinda you know, not care too much on driving. Even now, like when Farrell's driving, like I get super scared. Um, if a car comes too close, I'm super just, I'm super just jumpy, super just scary. Um, but since I have this car, I'm definitely gonna go obviously go get it. <laughs> um, but I'm so super appreciative of him. He really goes all out for me and I just, love him and I but anyways I'm about to go in the house because I have some exciting news to tell you guys and I gotta start cooking the spaghetti for these kids anyways guys <clears throat> I had to come back in because it's freezing out here it's super cold it's damp well, it is snowing actually um and so I had to come back in but I am super appreciative of Pharaoh he like does the most for me um, and you know he definitely has taught me what a man and how a man should uh, treat you because before him I was dating like I don't even know what I was dating to be honest with you I want to fail to tell you guys his experience with buying expensive stuff I guess <laughs> <laughs> Um, great way to put it. Yeah, so to make a long story short, uh, to all the family at home, um, and I'm gonna try to say this, um, in the most cheerfully way I can. Um, systematic racism is a thing. Um, it's not an imaginary element, uh, that people place inside of society in order to validate the, there is, excuse me, validate excuses regarding why they can't accomplish certain feats. I don't want to talk uh, figures, you know. I don't really believe in that. Uh, but I want to say I'm doing pretty well for myself, for myself. And um, I just purchased my lady a vehicle, um, a really nice vehicle. I showed them already. Oh, there's one at home. So, I mean, I asked her what she wanted. She picked it out. Boom, she got it. Now, with that being said, um, not even just purchasing the vehicle, purchasing this home. Same with this home. Um, we looked, asked her what she wanted, she picked it out, boom, she got it. So, in purchasing... Y'all gonna drive it, he gonna make it sound like I'm spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's, not my, that's not my intent. That was not my intent. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just, we, we just going through the story. But long story short, I mean, excuse me, I'm just going through the story. I know I'm long with it. But long story short, um, even when I purchased this home, as I backtracked in my story, they they kind of made this extremely hard like even with the underwriter um the underwriter was asking me ridiculously uh i mean asking me for ridiculous amounts of things that i had already sent over and over i had to keep resending the same amount of things and um then, then it ended up going to the underwriter supervisor because i hadn't heard back something in so, in so long and it even got to the point even me purchasing his home it even got to the point where the homeowner was uh, ready to quote unquote act like, you know, she wanted to put the home back on the market. 
And that's not because I didn't have the money. I did have the money. They just hassled me about where I got it from. And they gave me such a hard time proving my income to the point where it was even potentially going to affect this, excuse me, affect me purchasing the home. And um, like I said, the money wasn't a problem. I showed the money. The homeowner know I had the, uh, you know, know the income was there. Um, it really was just people people being difficult on purpose. Um, it wasn't me. And, you know, not even to get off sidetrack, but to further prove my point. Even the um, agents involved with me purchasing this home was, you know, uh, let's say unhappy and um, very unsettled about the behavior of uh, the seller. And, you know, the time in regards to the behavior of the underwriters and, um, you know, the loaning companies, etc. So, it wasn't just me. Even the um, agents on my side and the other person's side, you know, um, felt the way I felt about the situation. And I say that to say, you know, I believe I was given a very hard time and a very unnecessary time because I'm black. <laughs> and not just because I'm black, I'm young and I'm black. And I also think it's because of, because at the car dealership, I don't people think people think yes. people understand his line of work and they probably don't believe that there's people out there that is willing to pay for education, pretty much. Besides going to college, obviously. But I feel like they just like couldn't fathom the fact that he was a teacher and have an online university. Because when they looked him up and said he's a rapper, then it was like, oh, okay, let's take pictures. Like, right, right, right. When we went to purchase the car, and they told us at the car dealership that they don't believe me. <laughs> they just told me flat out. So, I know for a fact we're purchasing this home, and, you know, uh, the amount that this home was, was, was for, I know that that's what it was. And it was giving me a hard time because I'm black, and I feel like these people have a hard time understanding or realizing that you can be black and earn a living and not be a basketball player or a rapper or a stripper or something like that. You know, predominantly as your means of income. I mean, as having that as a predominant primary means of income. And even when purchasing a vehicle, you know, they straight just told me, like, you know, they don't believe you. And I pulled up bank statements. You know, I filed my taxes. I got a, I'm a very professional. I got a CPA. I don't, I don't, you know, I move very professionally in, in the way a businessman is, in, in, uh, in the way that a businessman is supposed to move. So, I don't skip a beat. So, that being said, they just told me straight up in the dealership that they don't believe me. And um, it all boils down to what she said. You know, people, um, if, if, if racist is too strong of a word and people don't want to accept racist, let's say bias. At minimum, you know, this society is biased towards uh, black people. And I feel like um, that's something that, that's a message and, and a topic that needs to be acknowledged in this world. Not just by somebody who is of lower class because I was once lower class at a point in time in my life. I was born lower class. Um, I wasn't always where I am now. But it also needs to be put out by somebody upper class. And you know, since I'm up here now and I'm experiencing the same type of behavior from people in the world that I was experiencing at other points in my life, you know, it definitely needs to be a subject that's more talked about about the public. And um, you know, I wanted to put that out here to get that conversation started. You know, what, what can we do or, or how can we come, excuse me, become more aware of the fact that it's hard for black people to establish themselves um, financially and establish things for, them, for their family when we literally can't get loans, even when we got the money, you know? We literally can't get um, any financial opportunities afforded to us even when we don't even need them, even when we, like I said, when we got the money, you know, because we are constantly underneath basically criminal surveillance you know what i'm saying if it's not criminal surveillance what is it you know what is it what is the eye that everybody feel like they gotta have uh on us to the point where they don't believe us even when we showing them the truth for proof so you know i wanted to put that out there yeah but i'm definitely appreciative of you needed me a car it was very sweet even though i can't drive it yet but it's okay Come on, actually, was wild. Yeah, that's a fact. Um, but yeah. What did you say? Um, you want cookies or done? Not yet, they're not. I think so. Cookies ain't done yet. You tell me how you think his cookies done. His cookies is almost done. 
But, um, you know, I said all my mushy stuff off camera, so I'm not going right. too deep into it right now. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm going so ready. Me and Hiro. No, we don't just made some juice and you no, no you're juice. you're eating cookies so leave it at that we just made some juice it's actually really good i'm gonna show you guys this nation so we're making some juice we're making some juice wow did you see the juice yeah now you see that moving yep put it back up Finishing product. See, got it in my moon jug water thing. Um, pineapples, apples, and mango. And then you add water. I didn't know what that's Anyway, you guys, thank you for tuning in into another video. I am about to start getting consistent on this channel. Um, again, the baby definitely threw me off in finding a decent schedule and where I feel well rested and stuff like that and I'm able to do stuff. I just got done cleaning the whole house. Um, so I have more free time. I did enroll in school um, for to get my massage therapy license. Um, so I am gonna start being busy, but that's not all the way until March. So I am gonna have this free time. My birthday is coming up. We're gonna go to we rented a beach house and stuff like that. So I have a lot of stuff and a lot of more videos that um I want to kick out and I'm gonna start kicking out and being consistent now that the baby is at least a month and um you know I have finished everything that I needed to finish and get done. So um two thirty is it. So I am going to be consistent guys thank you for staying with me thank you for riding with me thank you for being my gang um and you know we're gonna get to it and i'm gonna have a lot of good videos for you guys let me know in the comments which videos you want us to do me and feral me by myself me and the kids whatever the case may be um i have a little bit of ideas so um i'm um, i'm welcoming others so let me know and make sure you like comment and subscribe